I've really enjoyed this Christmas period. I wasn't expecting to enjoy it as much as I have. Just because I thought it'd just be another Christmas. And I love Christmas. I always enjoy Christmas, Christmas periods. I always enjoy seeing family, spending quality time with everybody. However, this one's been slightly different. And this one's been slightly more potent because it's made me realize what I really care about, what I don't care about. And it's been so nice to disconnect from this channel and disconnect from this journey and kind of take a break while still putting the work in. It's been very like mentally refreshing and relaxing to feel like I don't care. Like I don't, I realized yesterday, I realized, um, I was thinking about it first yesterday, but I very quickly realized that I don't give a shit about this channel in the best way possible. And I mean that very positively and you'll understand why I mean slightly more as time goes on. But anybody that's watched my videos consistently or listen to them consistently will know that I've always had a huge, I've always placed a huge emphasis on family and it's part of my hierarchy of values and whilst it's third on my list I don't see it as one two I don't see my list as one two three I see my list as a pyramid and family being the foundation that motivates inspires and in turn holds everything up I'm a man who's very driven by family and this period of disconnect has been very refreshing and very, what's the word, very easy on my mind. And I literally feel like I've had time off from this channel, from this train everyday journey, and it's been amazing. Now, I'm not saying I was at a point or have been getting to a point where it's already becoming a chore or I'm feeling like I was struggling for motivation or inspiration or anything like that. No, that's not the case at all. However, if I'm being completely honest with myself, I was probably getting a little bit... I don't want to say bored, bored seems a bit too dramatic, but I was getting up on days like, meh, what should we do today? Whereas previously I'd been getting up like, alright, cool, I think I want to do this, I think I want to do that, we'll get in there, we'll, we'll start with this, and then we'll see where the day takes us. And that is a big shift, like, that is a, that is a very big difference, like, anybody who trains on a regular basis... They know what I mean. We train for anything in that respect. It can literally be anything. Anything that you have to do on a daily basis. Anybody who's done that for a long period of time will understand what I mean when I say that. There's, there's days where you're not sick of your, what you're doing. You, you still love it. You, you still want to do it. There's just not as much oomph. There's not as much fire in your belly to make the most out of it. it it almost becomes like it becomes very easy to count the days rather than make the days count so this experience that i've had over christmas just being surrounded by family being back in being back in london where i grew up seeing everybody every day chilling doing stuff talking just all the little things that you don't get once you've moved out of the family home reconnecting with that is, oh, it's been a blessing it's been a blessing to the point where yesterday i experienced for the first time in a while going to the gym and feeling inspired 
And for the simplest reason, because my mind was clear, I hadn't thought about the gym for a split second before I got it. I hadn't spent a minute thinking about what I was going to do, where the day was going to take me in my session, so on and so forth. Not a single thought was spent on that. It was just, oh, all of a sudden I was at the gym. Went to a new gym, a gym that I'd never been to before with my mum. And ended up having a great session, meeting some cool people, lifting some, some serious weight. This isn't the, the premise, this isn't the, the main reason or idea behind today's video, but it was quite fun because I got another deadlift PR and I got 200 kilos. Clean enough. Um, but this will probably be the last PR for a little while, I'd imagine. Because I realised that the reason why my numbers have been shooting up so quickly is simply because I've been learning how to deadlift properly. And I've been learning how to deadlift safely without holding on to this idea that your back has to be in a slight, in slight lower doses in order for it to be straight. Anyway, this video isn't really about training. I can't be bothered to talk about training. I'm not really interested in training right now. I'm really not. I'm more interested in what my mom's up to, what my dad's up to, what my brother's up to, what my aunts are doing, what they're saying, da 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 da, so on and so forth. So, I really don't give a fuck about training right now. But I'm still going to train every day. I'm going to get my videos done, even though I don't give a fuck about these videos right now. And it feels really nice to say that. It's, I believe that this is, I'm going to look back on this period days and days down the line and it's going to be important for me to come back and take notes of this experience and whenever I fall into that kind of moment in my training again it'll be very important for me to embrace this kind of idea this idea that you can have a break while still doing the work bury yourself in something else focus on something else think about something else don't even think about your training just go and train and i think that will serve me that will serve me greatly on this journey in the days to come when things get a little boring a little bit repetitive whatever you want to call it so i hope you had a great christmas if you made it this far Thank you very much, and I shall see you tomorrow.